Welcome to Stars Listen. So today I'm gonna go over the basics of components. I'm not gonna go too deep into it and I'm gonna start with the components classes. There are five different types of them and I'll do my best to explain them. Starting with the civilian class. Civilian class is the most common. It often reaches out to other categories. It can be slightly more industrial, it can be slightly more military, but it's never ideal military, it's never ideal industrial. It's kind of the most common one you get. It's often the one that your ship comes with stock. So it's nothing too special. It will do the job if you're delivering boxes, doing general things that don't really require much combat or any kind of rigorous uh, work with your ship. Next up, we have competitive. Now, competitive, that is rather high performance. It's not very durable and it's not really that stealthy. Your signature probably is gonna be huge. But it is good for overall performance of your ship, if you want to get the maximum speed out of it. At the moment it probably doesn't matter too much on ships, but um, at some point these components are or should be rather easily damaged, so you don't want to keep them on a ship you're doing bounty hunting missions or the ship that is gonna get damaged. So next we have the industrial. This is kind of a pain. Uh, the idea with the industrial is for your ship to work as long as possible. like. If it's a quantum travel, it might not go fast, but it should go really, really far, really, really long ways. The overall general idea is that it has huge signature. It doesn't have much in the way of defense, but for working, mining, delivering, it's the one that is gonna cost you least and is meant for long-term use. Next up, we have the military components. These are one of the best components in the game. They do have more durability than the previous ones, because of that they also have a huge signature. They try to give you that uh, huge durability or resilience while also giving you really good outputs. So the price is gonna be one of the biggest with these components. And for the last we have stealth components. These are very specific. In general you don't want them unless you really plan to go do something stealthy. If you're gonna be a pirate, you might want these. If you're gonna go hunting bounties, you might want these. Keep in mind, these are kind of like speciality components. They are not very durable. They're actually even somewhat fragile. They try to give you that bare minimum uh, performance to operate. It's not gonna make you very durable. The overall idea for these is just to give you that edge of stealth. Your ship won't be spotted as close as it usually is. Now, there are ships that work better with these and ships that are specifically made for these. But the, the overall idea is that they reduce your signature and unless you know what you're doing, you probably shouldn't go for these. But okay, we also have grades on our components. There are four different grades that are given, uh, either from 1 to 4 or, or from A to D. A and number 1 being the same, B and 2 being the same, C, A, C and 3 being the same and D and 4 being the same. A being the best possible performance, usually, B being kind of good, C being the average or standard, and D being the low grade. Now, the prices may also go up from uh, D to A or 4 to 1, but it all depends on the components, types, whatever you are using. The grades also apply to the weapons. If you see missiles, uh, laser repeaters, ballistic weapons, you can see their grade right away. If they are the first grade weapon, fourth, third, second. Plenty of players don't really bother with the loadouts. Well, maybe weapons, but not really about the power plants, coolers, things like that. It will be rather irrelevant if you're doing bunker missions, delivering cargo, things like that. You can do it pretty much with stock variant. But if you're gonna do some PvP, bounty hunting, or just gonna have some little stealthy fun, you might want to optimize your ship to the best possibilities. I hope this gave some insight to the components, their types and their grades. Anyways, thanks for watching.